The ideal gas law combines all four properties of gases into one single equation. PV equals NRT. That's pressure times volume equals moles times the gas constant times temperature in Kelvin. The gas constant we like to use has a specific set of units. That gives it the value of 0 0.08206 units of liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. It means to use this in the equation, we will want our pressure to be in atmospheres, our volume to be in liters. Uh, N is always moles and temperature is always Kelvin. We will see the gas constant in the other set of units also. There are other sets or other units. We'll be seeing 8.2145 used in other equations when we are looking for the energy of the chemist. So for the ideal gas law, we will always want to use this gas constant. So if we have three properties, we can use the ideal gas law to solve the missing property. We'll be thinking of the ideal gas law when we're only seeing a single value for each property. If we see two values, two pressures, or two volumes, think the combined gas law. So let's apply this to a couple questions. If we have 3.74 moles of a gas it has a pressure of 2.30 atmospheres at minus 75 Celsius, that's our three properties, what volume does it occupy? So we can look for a volume. So we solve the equation for volume. We have 3.75 moles. Times a gas constant, 0 0.082. Times the temperature, so we add 273. We end up with a 198 Kelvin. Divide by the pressure. So we always want our units to match. So if we always use that gas constant, we always know that we need atmospheres and liters. In this case, we're solving for volume, so everything will cancel out except for liters. So we run this through our calculator. We end up with 26.5 liters. So we, of course, have four properties, so we have to go solve it all four ways. So let's do a couple more of these. So now we have 10.5 moles occupying 2.5 liters at 75 Celsius. So we want to know what the pressure of the gas is. So I see Celsius, so plus 273 equals 348 Kelvin. So we're looking for pressure, so we we'll solve the equation for pressure. We put the values in. So we set it up, we run it through our calculators. 
we end up with a pressure of 133 atmospheres. So next one, we have 2.01 moles of a gas in 25 liters at a pressure of 4.47. So in this case, we're asking what our temperature is. Solve our equation for temperature. We put our values in. So once we have everything set up, we run it through our calculator, we end up with the 678 Kelvin. And that's a valid answer. Uh, if we want it in Celsius, we subtract our 273 to get a 405 degrees Celsius. So last example here, we have the gas occupying two, two liters at a pressure of 0.3 atmospheres at a 155 Kelvin. We're asking how many moles we have here. So we solve our equation for our uh, moles. We build an equation with our values. And we run it through our calculators and get the 0 0.0472 moles. So think ideal gas law when we have uh, one value for each of the properties. Once we have three of the values, we can solve for that missing fourth value. 